Hello everyone, welcome to Vino Tratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about tuples methods and its advantages. In the first example, we are using plus operator to concordinate two tuples. Tuple 1 is having three names, tuple 2 is having two names. I am creating a variable final tuple, then concordinating both tuple 1 and tuple 2 using plus symbol. Let's print this the final tuple will be tuple with five names in the second example we have the tuple with many integer value i want to find how many values present in this tuple for that we use the len method so we have to mention len within this the tuple variable just run it the length of this tuple is 16. So totally 16 integer value is present inside this tuple. The third example, I want to create n copies of a particular value, which can be created using star. This is an operator. In order to create this, you have to mention the tuple into the number of times you want to print it. And here you see, we, I have mentioned the comma then only it will take this as a tuple if not it will take it as a string just print it when you mention star into seven seven times python value is created inside the tuple these examples which we have already seen it in the list so i am glancing it one by one then comes the membership operator we have two membership operator in and not in in is used to find whether the particular value or element is present inside a tuple. If it does exist, then you will get the true. The output will be a boolean. In the first example, the tuple contains five values. I am trying to check whether the 24 in tuple 1. The output will be true because 24 is available. In the second example, how the not in will work is if the value is not present then you will get a true if the value is present then you will get the false in this example 35 not in tuple 1 we can't find the 35 value inside this tuple so you will get true for both the sample code we got the output true the next method is min method that is minimum when you want to find the smallest element in the tuple we use min in this example, we have five values. When you mention min, 24 will be the output, which is the lesser value. Just execute it. The smallest number in the tuple is 24. Then the largest number in the tuple, you can guess for smallest, if it is min, for largest, it will be max. Max, within the max, mention the variable, run it. The output is 132. Then another easy method, sum. When you want to find sum of all the integers within a tuple, we use method sum. Sum then mention the variable. Just execute the code. The sum of all the numbers in the tuple is 686. Next comes count. The count is used to find how many times the value is repeated. We have a tuple called numbers. Inside this, we have multiple values. My requirement is the value 1, how many times it is available inside this tuple. For that, you know the variable numbers dot count. Within this, mention the value 1. Just execute it. The 1 is available 3 times. The same method we can also use to find how many times a particular thing is present. For that variable dot count inside that mention the exact value. If it is a string mentioned within the code. Then comes uh, another important one index. This index methods such as for a given element in a tuple and return its position. And very important notice if the same element is present more than once then it will display the first or smallest position only. So in this example integers with multiple values I want to find the index of number 3 numbers dot index what is the index of number 3 just executed the index of number 3 is 2 0 1 
2 the value 3 is presented at index 2 even though one more 3 is available but it displayed the first occurrence only one more example we have a tuple with multiple name let me find the index of satishwaya name so name start index within this mention satish just run it the name satish is available at index 3 0 1 2 3 this is how we use the index method next one is sorted method which is used to start the given tuple in a specific order the order may be an ascending order or sometimes it may be a descending order as per our requirement but always remember the default is ascending order so the first example i'm going to sort it in the ascending order we have all the vowels inside the tuple i am going to sort it. this is the method inside this pass the variable just run it the value is sorted in the ascending order now if my requirement is sorted in the descending order same way but an additional argument or parameter comma reverse equal to true when you mention reverse equal to true this will sort it in the descending order just run it the vowels is displayed in the descending order one more example for numbers we are sorting this number in the ascending order so sorted within this the variable numbers run at integers are sorted and one more note the methods that adds item remove items that are not available with the tuple because you know very well tuple is immutable then comes how to create the tuple using tuple method we will be in a situation that we have to convert our data type to tuples at that time you have to use the tuple method you know very well this value is a list because we have mentioned the square bracket but i want to convert this whole list to a tuple then what we can do very simple we have to mention this value inside the tuple method so this is a tuple method within the parenthesis mention the list now the list to tuple conversion is happened just execute it you can see the output without the square bracket because list value is converted to tuple the next example how to create tuple from a string when you convert a string to a tuple this will split each character for example tuple 2 equal to this is an example of a string if i convert this to a tuple what will happen is tuple just printed the full string is converted to characters and each character is saved inside the tuple third example we can convert a dictionary to a tuple still we didn't see the dictionary that will be our next video series for time being a dictionary is mentioned with key and value one key is having a value vinod and two key is having the value anand dictionary is mentioned within the curly braces and if you mention inside the tuple method and run it each key is converted to a tuple we will see once again this example in the dictionary data type just using the tuple method we can convert from one data type to the another data type now you will have a question when to use tuple because both list and tuples are same only thing is we can edit in the list in the tuples we can't edit it so if your requirement is like you don't want to change any value then you can use the tuple we will get the right protected then one more important interview note since tuples are immutable iterating in tuple is faster than with the list then the third advantage is tuples that contains immutable elements can be used as key for dictionary we can use a dictionary concept in tuples but with the list this is not possible that's about the advantage of tuples over the list that's the end of this video for sample code you can refer this url it will be also mentioned in the video description thanks for watching happy learning